Hi everyone, I am Miss Mama Mo One from Mama Mo's Homemade Treasures. In this video, I'm going to talk about my hair, my hair journey, um, how, how it's going so far, uh, my hair regimen, and the hair products I use. Um, first off, I'm going to start off, I guess it had to be 2010, I'm going to say around January. That's probably the last time I actually put a perm in my hair. But that did not stop me from abusing my hair because I still straightened it, um, not you know, with a flat iron, blow dryers. I mean, I used to be so bad that if I woke up and my roots were, you know, if I sweated out my roots before I used to go to work, I would, you know, blow it out. Um, in 2011, August 2011, that's when I officially decided to go natural and I was just pure by accident. For years I have been like wondering what to do with my hair and trying and looking around but there wasn't really much info on my type of hair. I even looked into doing um, dreadlocks a couple of years ago but I decided not to because of the expense and I didn't want to you know just go through that to keep on maintaining it and I wanted my hair. I didn't want it to be you know I know I get sick of things and I'm gonna I'm, I might want to just brush through my hair. Anyway so, August 2011, that's when I officially decided to um, go natural. So, I started my transition. Um, little by little, I was cutting my hair. I got rid of my blow dryers, gave away my, um, my straightener, my, you know, my flat iron, my curler, whatever involves heat. I got it out here, out my house, so it wouldn't even be no temptation. Um, the first thing I was trying to do was braid outs and twist outs. And they just weren't working for me. I just didn't like how it came out. Maybe when I first, first did it, I kind of liked it because my hair was longer. But anyway, um, I, I liked flex rods. I loved how that came. And so then in October, I decided to join the Real Queens Challenge and um, using the greenhouse effect. And so October 1st, I was like, you know what, I'm going to do like a mini big chop. Because I was sick of seeing my relaxed ends. It really was just driving me nuts. So, um, I cut off quite a bit of hair, and it was quite short, and I thought that I was going to be stressed or, you know, mad or, you know, just feeling like I wasn't beautiful without my long hair, but surprisingly, I didn't go through that. I felt free. I felt even more beautiful. I saw my curls that I haven't seen since I was a child. Like, I loved it. It was like, all I had to do was spray a little bit of water on it, and, you know, they just curled right up. So, um, fast forward into January, that was my three months check, and when I cut my hair, the first time I think it was up to my nose, and now it's up to, it's past my chin now, last time I checked, it was probably up to my chin, um, so it is growing nicely, one thing I was getting sick of is, uh, rod sets not doing them but for some reason maybe my hair wasn't long enough it just does not last it does not last on me at all so if I do a flex rod set the next day is ruined so basically um I just been doing that doing braid outs and you know spraying it with water but now that it's getting longer that's not really always working so I saw a video by Mahogany Curls and she was um, talking about that she does the curly girl method. It's basically just using conditioner, not using shampoo at all anymore. And I decided, let me try it. Um, I'm trying it. Maybe I can start it maybe late February, early March. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. My hair is hydrated. It's moisturized. And it, I, I get the bounce I want. And it's so little effort. I really don't have to do much to my hair and basically three times a week I step in the shower I reapply you know I wet completely wet my hair I reapply conditioner and I finger um, comb my hair out I basically leave it the way you know I set it how I want it lately I've been wearing my hair you know off to the side and uh, and I just let it dry, let it dry completely with the conditioner in it. You leaving, Keithy? Mm -hmm. um, oh. Okay, sorry about that. I dry it, um, I let it air dry with the conditioner in it, and it, and it stays. And even at night, um, I used to, like, braid it, 
in sections a little bit but now honestly all I do is just put my bonnet on and I and I go to sleep that's it I love this routine um I just got my book okay give me one second my son gotta go bye boo boo mommy kiss are you no you too <laughs> you got a lipstick on your cheek so anyway I I did go ahead and buy this book I'm not finished and I just got it like maybe two days ago and this is how far I am in it and this book I can I can already tell and I'm almost finished I'm gonna do a full review once I finish this book but this book is is worth the money it even comes with a DVD that I haven't even um, looked at yet because I was just so interested reading it and it's just like a lot of things from reading this book I have it made me remember things when I was a kid and how I used to feel about my hair. Um, and yeah, I've been trying for all my life. I've been trying to, you know, control my curls, hide my curls. And now that I finally embraced it, I'm in love. I'm truly in love. I always wanted thick, long hair. And my hair always has been thick. It's not going to be thick straight. It'll never be thick straight because that's just not the texture of my hair. And I finally, it took me 33 years to realize... But I finally realized my hair is thick now. It's thick because this is, you know, the, the curl pattern that I was born with. And I'm just embracing it. And for the rest of my life, I'm going to embrace it. So, like I said, this book is definitely a must-read. Definitely. And I'm not even finished with it yet. But it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Um, and let me just get real quick into the things I put in my hair. This is uh, Tresemme Naturals silicone free that's a big thing in the curly girl method you don't want to put any silicone um, in your hair at all because basically silicone all it really does it coats the outside of your hair and it blocks out water and of course um, us natural girls our, us curly girls we need the, the moisture from water and um, I like this I like this so far I used it um, a few times, and I like how it comes out. I did. I just did my hair last night. Um, I think I put a little bit too much because I, I've got a lot, a lot of shrinkage. But it's okay. It's it's okay. It's not even a big deal. Um, and so basically, what I do is I step into the shower. I wet my hair completely. Um, I apply this, and I make sure that every strand of my hair is coated with this. There's a scrunching technique, and I can get into more details um, at another time. And and that's it. And I think this is going to be my new thing um, for now on. Um, another thing I use a lot, before I got the Tresemme's, and ever since I started my journey, I've been using my VO5. I go through these bottles. This is a new bottle. Um, what, what I do is I add my um, oils, olive oil, castor oil, um, different oils that is good for hair growth, I added to it and I use this. I use this as a deep conditioner, as a conditioner, as a leave-in. Um, VO5, I love it. It's cheap and it's, um, it's, very, it's, it's good for my hair. My hair loves VO5. Um, another thing that I love, 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 I can't go without having this in my hair, and that's um, extra virgin olive oil. This leaves my hair so shiny, so moisturized. I don't go a day without putting this stuff in my hair. Um, I used to, when I first first started going natural, I used to use a lot of shea butter. For my hair personally, I mean, my skin loves it. For my hair, my face loves it, but my hair kind of weighs my hair down. So I really don't really put too much shea butter, or I don't put shea butter in my hair at all anymore. I just put um, oils um, mainly. See how this is? Cause this is not just for my hair. I use this for my body scrubs. Um, I, when I make my shea butter whips, olive oil is very moisturizing. Um, another thing I use is this bottle. And this is oils. And basically, I have, I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm just playing around with it. But I have um, sage mixed in there. I have rosemary, the leaves. Um olive oil, grapeseed oil, and I use this as like a deep conditioner. I love my oils. I'm trying to move away from um, combing and brushing my hair, which is a very, very hard habit to break, but I will break it. But I do, 
I use this. I don't use my little combs anymore. I do use this, and I'm only, only, only using this when I'm just like when I'm setting my hair. So if I want to, you know, do the little part, or if I'm putting my hair in flex rods, and I gotta stop because when I put in flex rods, I'm just so used to parting my hair, but I really don't have to. Another thing I use is this. And this mainly, I just use this sometimes if I want a little lift. I just do it like that. I never comb it through. And I'm really getting used to just using my fingers to comb through my hair. Also, um, I use this brush. And I use this, I'm not sure if it's good or bad. But I use this brush just for, when I, for my side. I don't do much, but as you can see, my side is kind of thin. So I do need to um, lay off on it. But I love how quick and easy I can go, like, I could even just do it in the morning and head off to work in the morning and, you know, by midday, it's dry. Or even when um, it's a new, you know, I'm just refreshing from the day before, all I do is hop in the shower a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of water. Not too much, just a little bit of water. That's what I did this morning. And I like how as the day goes by, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I just do, so the last time I did my hair was Saturday. So probably tomorrow or Tuesday, I'll, um, I'll do it again. But it just gets bigger and bigger. I just make sure I keep my hair moisturized. And um, I'm just loving my hair now. It took me a long time to realize. I used to think my hair was too thin, um, frizzy. But now, especially um, from reading the Curly Girl Method book, I see why my hair, when it was straight, It'd be so frizzy. Um, from what um, was explained to me in this book, when your hair is dry and, and just just lacks moisture, how my hair, I used to flat iron it and get it all straight and thin. And then by the time I get to where I'm going or anything, you know, it'd be sticking up. You know why your hair, my hair was sticking up like that? Because it was trying to grab moisture from the air. Because <laughs> that's how dry it was. And, um... I'm happy with this curly girl method, even though I just started, so I'm still new at it, but I'm really thinking my hair is taking very well to it. I, I love the conditioner. It really does. And it's so funny, the lady who wrote this book, um, Lorraine Massey, she also came up with the product line Diva Curl. And even when I was um, perm back in the days, I had a friend that I used to work with, and she put me on to Diva Curl. She is 100% natural. And she put me on to Diva Curl because on the, in the summertime, I used to, you know, not perm it and just wear it because of the humidity. I used to just wear my hair um, in curls. So she used to tell me about it. And I remember buying a few of the stuff, and it really worked. It really worked. So I need to get some more of my hands on it because I do remember I have used that product before, and it did make my curls look wonderful, even though it's a little pricey. It definitely worked, and I would definitely recommend it and buy it again. Um, I think that's it. I just want to say that I'm just so happy that I finally, I'm learning about myself. I'm accepting myself for who I am. I used to think, I was a slave to my hair. I used to think, like, if, my, if I woke up with no hair on my head, you know, that'd be the end of me. I think cutting the hair, like, it brought, I got to see my face more. You know, I got to focus on my face, and I mean, I always thought that I was beautiful in me. Come on. <laughs> but... You know, I, I can't explain it. It's just that you love yourself. It gives you a self-love that, you know, it's only something that if you're going through a natural hair journey, you'll understand what I'm talking about when I say this. But I just, I love myself. I'm proud of myself. I feel like even when people look at me and, you know, oh, your hair looks nice or just look at me like, why her hair like that, you know. My hair is like this because this is the way God made it. This is the way it's always supposed to be. And I wish I had a daughter because she would, you know, I would make sure she loved her curls and appreciate her hair from birth. Because my whole life, I really, 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 really did not want this. And even when people used to say, oh, you have good hair. Your hair is so soft. I, I, I never, it never went to my head. I always wanted that thicker because I wanted my hair to fall long without all that stuff. But one thing I could say about going natural, I am no longer a slave to the rain. I'm no longer a slave to the humidity. I'm no longer a slave to, I hope my hair works out. I hope it doesn't rain. I hope, I used to be so bad that certain weather, like if it was a rainy day before I would, when I worked in the city, I would take my hair and wrap it up. And I know other people did it. I know I'm not the only one. Put it in a scarf, 
put a hat on, then go to work, take it down, and then don't let me go outside, because wrapping it back up, I mean, it's like ridiculous looking back at it. Now, I already know, I mean, of course, I'm going to have bad days, you know, like, I, my hair could look better than it does today, but hey, it is what it is, I still love it, it's still me, so I am just so happy about my natural hair, I can't wait, I can't wait for it to grow longer, but, um, I did have a few moments where I felt, you know, oh, I miss my long hair, I miss my long hair. And you know what? I got through it because it's not that serious. It's not that serious. My hair is going to be so long that I'm going to be like, I'm going to forget how my hair used to look. I, you guys, thanks so much for watching, watching me babble on and stuff about my hair. But I really had to get this out because... Um, I'm really happy. I'm so happy that I was inspired by YouTube, by all my natural hair sisters. Thank you guys so much. Um, I was inspired by you guys to, you know, go 100% natural. And definitely, as soon as I finish this, um, the Curly Girl book, I'm going to give a review and I'm going to give a, more details on what's in this book and why you should buy it or try it. At least try this method. Okay, and it's not just for this kind of hair. All hair types. Um, all hair types can use this method. Don't people? I know some people might feel like their hair. Well, my hair is not like yours, and it's no. Every hair type has a curl. It does. You know, it really does, and it can be brought out by using this method by using conditioner only, no washing. And um, when I do my review video on the book, I'll explain more in detail why washing is no good for the hair, and it makes perfect sense. It makes her fix it. Okay, you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.